To find this amount of material that has remained hidden, unstudied, we don't have this happen a lot in life. You know, you, most major things like this are already in archives or in museums. So there's so much material here that scholars will be able to study, that fans will recognize where Mongolian is crossed out and replaced with Bohemian above. And he's just getting the things out, you know? You, you see the lyrics right there. Is this the real life or is this fantasy? So he's kind of already writing this down. We've heard some people speculate that it was really five or six songs kind of smushed together. But these manuscripts show that it was one single story arc that he planned out that way, very carefully orchestrated. He wanted the operatic section to be here. He wanted this to be here the type of vocabulary he was playing with. So he initially thought maybe Mongolian Rhapsody would be a good title, and then he, he scratched it out and changed it to Bohemian. At the top of that page, Christmas Day Christmas 86. Day 86. Freddie Mercury is, and I've sold a lot of incredible things. As you say, Sotheby's has had incredible things in this building. But I have never seen such um, enthusiasm over a single person. You know, the, um, I think he was a very singular person in that he was totally fearless about being who he was, and that's why he's been so inspirational to people.